The games being mentioned in this video are strictly for educational purposes. None, and I mean none of this should be tried at home. Unless, of course, you're looking to get possessed. Coming in at number 3, we have Replus Natus, which is Satan's helper spelled backwards. So legend goes, this website is haunted by a little girl that was killed by her father. One night, a storm knocked down a phone pole that was located over her grave. Shortly after, this website mysteriously appeared online. Now, this website is said to be only accessible at midnight. If you try to go on it at any other time, a box will appear for you to put your email in, and you'll receive an audio message of this girl that tells you to come back at midnight to play. So if you're curious enough and decide to go back on at midnight, you'll see scary pictures of this girl and she'll ask you to play a game with her. Won't you come play, please? You then move around the website, clicking through various pictures and clues, all while creepy noises are being played around you. Once you successfully complete the game, a box will appear where you can input an enemy's name, and the girl will supposedly get revenge on this person for you. But there's a catch. After she's done getting revenge, she will haunt you in your dreams for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, the website is no longer active and can only be found in the depths of the dark web. Coming in at number two, we have the Midnight Game. Why would anybody play that? The Midnight Game actually has roots as a pagan ritual that was used to punish people that disobeyed the gods. The game itself is pretty simple to play, but does require a series of rituals before you can play. You're gonna need a candle, candle holder, pen, paper, and a wooden front door. Everything should be prepared and ready by 12 a.m. For those daring enough to play, the first thing you're gonna do is write your name on a sheet of paper, then put the paper in front of your wooden door. When it reaches 11.59 p.m., take your candle, place it beside your paper and start knocking on your door 22 times, making sure you complete the 22nd knock just as the clock strikes midnight. As soon as you reach the 22nd knock, open the door, blow out your candle, close the door, and then immediately relight your candle. Congratulations, you've now summoned the Midnight Man. At this point, you gotta start moving all around the house, and you can't stay in the same place for too long or else the Midnight Man's gonna get you. You have to keep doing this until the game is over at 3.33 a.m. when you can finally declare yourself safe. Coming in at number one, we have the elevator game. Elevators are relatively safe, but there are a number of reasons an elevator can make you nervous. Power going out, a fire, suffocation, claustrophobia. There's many reasons an elevator can be scary, but that's if you're normal. If you choose to play this game, you're probably not. Let me explain. This game is set to do many things from opening portals to alternate dimensions to summoning the devil. Without further ado, let's get into how you play. You're gonna need to get in an elevator alone or with friends and go to floors four, three, six, two, ten, five, and then back down to one in that order specifically on the fifth floor you'll encounter a strange woman do not talk to her do not communicate don't even look at her just ignore her and press the button to floor one if you manage to reach floor one get out of the elevator and don't look back matter of fact run if the elevator ends up taking you to floor 10 start praying because that's when the bad stuff happens you'll either be in a new dimension or meet satan himself if anybody enters the elevator during the game you need to restart but think twice before playing encountering satan or transcending dimensions isn't necessarily a good thing Thing. 